Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. In this video, we'll take up trigonometric identities and we'll prove them with coordinate point. So the concept here is to prove trigonometric identities using x, y, and r. Now, what do I mean? Let me explain you this concept. We'll have four examples. Two are on this page and the next page we'll have two more. So let's consider any point here. Let's say this point is P. Then X and Y could be the coordinate points for this point, right? If I join this point with origin, in that case, what we notice here is that this value is Y and this value is X, correct? And the angle which it makes with positive x axis, let it be, let us say theta, since we are using the term theta here, right? Right? Now, in that case, hypotenuse is r, and the value of r will be equals to square root of x square plus y square, Pythagorean theorem. Perfect. So, that is the situation we have. Now, let's try to prove these identities using this right triangle. That's the whole idea, right? We'll use this right triangle to prove the identities. Now, what you know to begin with is sine is ratio of opposite over hypotenuse, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tan is opposite over adjacent, correct? So, in our case, if I write tan theta, it means what? So, let's begin with the very first one. So, uh, let me write down one by one. What is tan theta equals to? So, let me write down here. What is tan theta? Opposite over hypotenuse or opposite over adjacent? Opposite over adjacent, which is y over x. Correct? Now, what is cos theta? Cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, so it becomes x over r, and sine theta is opposite side y over r, right? So this is what we know from the given triangle. So we are going to apply this to prove all the identities. That's the whole idea, correct? That's what we are going to do. So we'll just substitute. Now when we prove identities, we can start with the left side, which is more complicated. So this is your left side and this is the right side. So starting with the left side, tan theta can be written as y over x. So I'm replacing tan theta by y over x times cos theta, x over r, x over r, right? Now here, as you can see, x and x cancel. So we are left with y over r, right? Now what is y over r? y over r is sine theta, right? Which is sine theta which is clearly the right side. So once you prove that left side is same as right side, we have already proven the identity. So these are the steps involved. Perfect. Now secant theta is reciprocal of cos theta. Uh, so secant theta is equals to one over cos theta. So if you flip this, you get r over x, correct? So that is secant theta. So we'll replace secant theta, again we'll start with the left side, correct? We will replace secant theta with r over x. Cos theta is x over r. And both cancel gives us 1, which is the right side, correct? So again we have shown that left side is equal to right side, hence proved. Perfect. Now let's take more examples. I'd like you to copy those questions and then solve them, right? So I'd like you to take this as a test. There are two identities which you should be in a position to prove using x, y, and r, right? So, so we'll again consider the same triangle whose sides are x and y and uh, the hypotenuse is r. So this is r for you, this is x, and this is y, the angle is theta, right? So that's the right drawing. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So we'll begin from the left side. 
which is for us tan square theta plus 1. Now tan theta is opposite over adjacent side. So I could write this as y over x whole square. Then we have plus 1. So that is the left side. So if I open the bracket, I get y square over x square plus 1. Or with common denominator, we get x square. We could write this as y square plus x square. Now what is y square plus x square? Well, as you can see here, that is r square, right? So applying the Pythagorean theorem, x square plus y square is indeed equals to r square. So I'm going to replace the numerator by r square, right? So we have this numerator as equals to r square over x square, which is same as r over x whole square. Now what is r over x? It is secant theta, right? So we get secant square theta, which is the right side. So in a way, we have shown how left side is equals to right side. And those are the steps to be followed to prove this identity. Now let's do the next one, which is the last in this series. Tan theta plus 1 over tan theta is 1 over sine theta cosine theta. So again, starting from the left side, I can replace tan theta by y over x. So we get y over x plus 1 over y over x, correct? So which I could write as, so we began with left side, correct? We have y over x plus x over y. Taking common denominator, which will be x times y, we get y square plus x square. And as you know, the sum is r square. So I will write this as r square over x times y. Now from here, what we can do is, let me take it to the right side. And then I'll do the further. So from here, we can actually bring it down. So we could write this as equals to 1 over x times y over r square, kind of like this. 1 over x over r times y over r. Does it make sense to you? Right? So we can divide both numerator and denominator by r squared. So we'll get 1 here. And on this side, we get x times y divided by r squared. Now what is x over r? x over r is cosine theta, right? So we get 1 over cos theta times sine theta, which is y over r. And rearranging, we get what we need, sine theta times cos theta in the denominator, and that is the right side. So we have shown how left side is equals to right side. So this involves a few more steps. However, I hope with this you have understood the concept that the coordinate points can help us prove trigonometric identities. So it's a very uh, important method and can be adopted many times if you find it difficult to prove trigonometric identities. Feel free to share my videos, write your comments, and if you like and subscribe, that'll be great. Thank you and all the best.